Our top focus as of now, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has confirmed that Ukraine and the United States have agreed to launch joint weapons production. Zelensky says the step will enable Kyiv to start producing air defense systems, while adding that the long-term deal will create jobs and a new industrial base in Ukraine. Нова промислова база, нові робочі місця для обох наших народів. Україна зможе виробляти, зокрема, ППО. Готуємо створити нову оборону екосистему разом зі Сполученими Штатами, щоб виробляти зброю, щоб разом ще більше посилити свободу і захист життя. Це матиме глобальні позитивні результати. Я дякую, пане президенте. Дякую, пане президенте Байдене. The Ukrainian Ministry for Strategic Industries has signed cooperation agreements with three associations. This will help collaborate with more than 2,000 defense U.S. companies. Ukraine has already agreed to several joint projects with Central European producers to repair Ukrainian tanks. As Russia escalates the air attack, Ukraine has stepped up efforts to boost domestic weapons production. Today, a Russian occupation official in Annex Crimea said that a Ukrainian missile attack had struck the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, the latest assault by Kyiv on the peninsula. Earlier, Zelensky said that Kyiv will soon host an international arms production forum, which will include companies from more than 20 countries. Yesterday, Russia carried out its biggest missile attack in weeks across Ukraine. Energy facilities in the country have been attacked, as per reports. Power cuts were reported in five Ukrainian regions. The grid operator reported damage to facilities in western and central areas. Meanwhile, Poland has now vowed to fulfill its existing arms supply deal with Ukraine. This comes after the Polish Prime Minister said it would no longer arm its neighbor. The Polish Prime Minister says Warsaw would instead focus on arming itself with more modern weapons. Key Warsaw ties have nosedived in recent weeks. The neighbors have been at loggerheads over Ukrainian grain imports. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.